Hi guys, Dugu here with a new video and this video will be the MM Hunter rework video. Yes, yes, we did get a rework for MM and it has been very nice. Uh, I'm going to talk about Dark Ranger and Sentinel but those two... I don't know man, I, I, I feel like the Hunter designers are like so behind. It feels like if the, those two hero tones they are like okay with, I don't know. Uh, I feel like they should maybe watch the other hero tiles from other specs and classes and reassess their situation. But uh, for the Spectre in the class 3, they did a good job. After one expansion, because Dragon of Light did really a lot of damage to the Hunter community. Uh, and Shaman still wait for a rework, but it is what it is. Uh, let's talk about the class 3 really quickly. I did talk about it on the BM Hunter. If you did watch the class 3 uh, from BM Hunter, you can skip that, but let's talk. So basically, um, we get a lot of things uh, for free as a uh, MM Hunter, which is quite nice. Um, we have easy access towards explosive shot. We have easy, easy access to high, high explosive trap because those two are like literally together. Uh, we have binding shot and sc uh, scatter shot and intimidation. And you can even play without a pet and then do intimidation. It will cast the pet for you. Now... Is it that effective? I don't know. It also stuns two additional nearby enemies for 50% effectiveness, which is quite nice as well. But if you don't want that and you don't want to DR your uh, enemies for like literally nothing, you can basically take Scrappy and you're good to go. Um, but for now, I take this. Uh, we have a Roar of Sacrifice, also easy access, but like I said with the BM Hunter video, a Trailblazer, Binding Shackles, and Camouflage doesn't really makes sense to be there because it's really low and it would be nice to have explosive shot instead and intimidation so at least it's not a lost talent and you could basically uh, choose to sacrifice those talents to not take it and to take another path right now you did you do need those three talents which you can see it as like three talents that you need to invest to get um, your normal kit kind of uh, Trailblazer is not that good, but Roar of Sacrifice is really good. We have Emergency Solve now, which is like tactical, like survival tactics, and um, I would say Craven Stratagem did get a baby and had like half the possibilities of those two. So they get like only remove poison and disease whenever you're doing Feigned Death and Aspect of the Turtle, which is not that bad, but it's a really use case scenario. If you're not playing versus someone that has poison or diseases, you can just hop out of this and take something else which is a good thing because then it makes that you have choices to make on the class tree which is welcome uh, binding shot has a four second stun uh, if not modified in pp uh, which is quite nice as well we have scatter shot really easy and you can even play with quick load if you want to so you can reset your scar shot every time you're going to be low hp every 25 seconds um we have also unnatural ca unnatural causes which is giving you more dot damage is it going to be impactful i don't know it could be not that great but there's a lot of things that can give you a dot so why not we have death chakrams again very good but i think the talent that i'm very very much fond of is moment of opportunity because whenever you're going to trigger a trap you're going to get a aspect of cheetah for three seconds and can only occur for every minute so it's really good because aspect of cheetah does work for three seconds anyways it's 90 percent. so um it's good i like it uh, it will give you more movement speed, more f fluidness, I would say. Um, but like I said, a lot of things are going to be great. And like I said, also in the BM Hunter video, uh, we have now Survival of the Fittest with two charges. Um, they get a 40% DR as MM, if I'm, mis I'm not mistaken. And I think BM Hunter gets only 30%. Um, but Evokers has also two charges. So they are going to streamline it like evokers where you have some tankiness baseline because of survival fittest plus also the improved uh, improvements on the class tree so we're going to feel more tanky but it's only a five, eight second cd uh, eight second duration so it's not like evokers where they have like a big duration so you have to know when to use it but you still have like a lot of tools to uh, avoid damage and to run away i would say 
which is quite great. So that that is pretty much the class reader changed a lot of things. You can also remove special uh, arsenal to get like a, a double purge with your triangling shot, which is quite nice as well. You could also take scars instincts if you want to instead of disruptive rounds, so you, you cannot get slowed too much whenever you're going to have aspect of a cheetah, which is quite nice as well. Uh, but explosive shot is going to be still a murder spell. It's going to be very very good, and I look forward to use it in PvP again. Uh, now let's talk about the spec tree where you have choices and important ones. It's really hard to know what uh, build is going to be the best one, but what I know is you can play around, which you cannot really do that on Dragonflight. Right now you can really go on different ways, but I think the two ways that you can go is for the right side or maybe the left side, depending on the hero towns you're going for, but also just in general depending on uh, what you're looking for on your class. So aim shot, we have precise shot, we have crack shot, and we have master marksman on the right side. Then we have rapid fire, which is basically the rapid fire tree where we have rapid fire streamline, surging shots, and penetrating shots, which are all modifiers for rapid fire. Uh, now this is more of a global modifier, but still, um, rapid fire is going to be still one of the best abilities for MM hunters. It is just how it is. Uh, we have careful aim again, doing more damage for aim shot whenever they are above 70% HP. We have uh, thunder hammer to do even more damage on your rapid fire, uh, which is also great. We have death blow, again a big modifier for your kill shots to be active, and then you have like razor, razor fragments to deal even more damage. We have barrage, which is a talent that I'm like testing right now because now your barrage is like effectively rapid fires. So barrage now instead shoots for rapid fires at your target and up to four nearby enemies at 30% effectiveness. Uh, it's not that great, but it might be better than I think because I think in in RBGs if you're like fighting like blob versus blob pretty much. You can do a big barrage and it will do a lot of benefits for you. Um, but if you seem to not want to play like this, you can basically do this. It would be the same. Uh, it would do even better, I would say even. But uh, if you want to test it out, you can always do that and test it out. If you don't like it, you take it away. If you like it, you just keep it. For now, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Still need to test, but um, yeah, that's some flavor, I would say. Uh, Night Hunter, which is a crit, uh, critical strike chance modifier. We have in the rhythm, so you get a haste proc whenever you're going to do a rapid fire, which is fully finished channeling. Uh, we have uh, Serpent Stalker's Trickery and Hyper's, Hydra's Bite, both on the spec tree for MM. And those two are better than on the BM Hunter because they have some modifiers. Mastery does get affected by uh, this as well, so it's a good thing. Uh, is it fantastic? I don't think so, but it's it's still there. Uh, we have Volley, which is quite nice, but also we have Kill Zone, which is effectively the Kyrian uh, Covenant. So whenever you're going to do your Volley, um, you you can ignore line of sight. So if you are doing a volley and they're running into your volley and they're like lining you, you can still shoot at them. But it also just does 8% more damage in general for you, your spells and attacks. So it's a modifier and also some quality of life change with that. Um, we, we have True Shot, which has been improved with Eagle Stellan's True Focus, with also calling the shots and unerring vision, so we have all the goodies for true shot, which I think is baseline, you need that in general. And then you have the left side, which is interesting, because you have Legacy of the Windrunners, aim shot co co coalesces, two windrunners that shoots your target for 18k, which is not that big, it's really low damage, but each time rapid fire deals damage, there is a 5% chance to coalesce a one arrow to at your target as well. But after summoning 20 wind arrows, you get a wailing arrow, which is like replacing aim shot. Uh, far as an, en an enchanted arrow dealing 350k shadow damage. Again, you're playing Dark Ranger, so why not? And an additional 140k AOE within 8 yards. Uh, non player target struck by a wailing arrow gets an interrupt and 
are silenced, which is unfortunate that in PvP it's not the case, but it is what it is. Waiting Arrow resets the cooldown of Rapid Fire and regenerates two charges of Aim Shot. But what I like about this talent is the next one, which is Readiness. True Shot grants Waiting Arrow and also generates two additional Wind Arrows while into True Shot. But also, Wailing Arrow resets the cooldown of Rapid Fire and generates two charges of Aim Shot. So I did read the second part with the waiting arrow because i already have talented it so normally the waiting arrow would stop at sounds for three seconds um i like i like this i am going to show you the damage really quickly so first this target uh, i'm going to just start with aim shot into a kill shot into a big rapid fire into maybe a black arrow why not into a another aim shot kill shot and then i'm going to steady shot here really quickly Explosive shot, and then I'm going to use my true shot, and then it's a lot of damage. It's it's basically just MM. It plays the same, that's for sure. Uh, is it good? I don't know. Uh, I think it really depends on your view. Um, I do feel like arcane shot has been nerfed by a lot. Um, I think arcane shot was way better. Um, in uh, Dragonflight, though, that's a certainty for me. Uh, your barrage, if you want to see barrage, how it works, I'm going to do a rapid fire into a barrage. You see, it, it it is it is okay. It's not impressive barrage, but it's uh, it's there. So, and then you have your waning arrow, which is quite nice again, and that's it. Um, I'm not really excited about MM, but I've never really liked MM to begin with, so I might be biased. So again, if you are like a diehard MM hunter, I understand that you are not going to like my opinion on it, but I do feel like it's boring. But um, I think if you like Dragonflight Hunter MM, you will like uh, Dragonflight, um, I mean uh, War Within uh, MM Hunter, that's for sure. So uh, let's, let's talk really quickly. Uh, arcade shot has been nerfed in my opinion like it does a lot less damage uh, we have aim shot doing some good damage and again if if they're high hp it will do even more damage rapid fire crits for 250k i mean uh, rapid fire will still be your stable ability if you want to do a lot of damage you have kill shot doing also a lot of damage you have master marksman which is a good dot we have serpent sting which is an okay dot we have your pets also doing some okay damage we have wailing arrow it's doing the same damage as the aim shot, except it is shadow. So I guess that's a thing. Um, but I think, and from what I've seen, it does less damage on an aim shot. But I think it can be also based about uh, procs that I have or something going on, right? Uh, Black Arrow is still very, very underwhelming. Explosive Shot does some good damage. It does more than uh, BM Hunter, that's for sure. Uh, and then you have your Dark Hounds. Uh, so like I said, the Hero Towns is really, really bad for um, MM. I do feel like our Dark Ranger is not good. Uh, Sentinel, it's alright. Uh, I didn't talk about the the Towns itself because it doesn't really matter. I think everyone is going to take the same Towns in PvP. And I already discussed it in BM Hunter videos. If you want to check that out, do check that out. Uh, I'm not excited about Dark, Dark Ranger, so maybe that's why I'm like talking like this, but it's really a bad hero talent. Uh, it should have been way cooler than that, so... They could have done a lot of the Sylvana stuff with the hero talents, but he didn't do that, so... Uh, we have Sentinel, so you, your attacks have a chance to apply Sentinel on the target stacking up to 10 times, while Sentinel stacks are higher than 3, applying Sentinel has a chance to trigger an implosion, causing a stat to be caused, consumed on the target every 2 seconds to deal 45k arcane damage. Uh, when you apply Sentinel to a target not affected by Sentinel, you apply one additional stack. Uh, you have Catch Out. When a target affected by Sentinel deals damage to you, they are rooted. It's a 1 minute CD per target. Uh, Symphonic Arsenal. So, there's, this is a multi-shot thing. I'm not going to discuss it because I don't play with multi-shot on in PvP. Uh, we have Sentinel Precision, which is aim shot and rapid fire deal deal five percent more damage, which is a modifier, which is all right. Uh, we have we have Invigorating Pulse. Each time Sentinel deals damage to an enemy, it has an up, up to fifteen percent chance to generate five focus, and chances decreases with each additional Sentinel currently imploding a pillar applied to enemies. We have Overwatch here. So this is the one that I said 
Uh, that is also interesting. All Sentinel debuffs implodes when a target affected by more than three stacks of your Sentinel falls below 20%. Or you can also have targets you damage below 20% gains a stack of Sentinel every three seconds. So that's more of a raid thing, I think. We have the left side, which is each time Sentinel deals damage to an enemy, you gain an Absorb Shield equal to 1% of your maximum health up to 10%. It's alright, it's a defensive, it's not better than the things that we had on the Sentinel, on the Dark Ranger tree. Uh, I think this one is way better, smoke screen. When you apply Sentinel on a target, you have 50% chance to apply a second stack. Again, you can apply it to 10 stacks very quickly. Um, we have Sentinel Watch, which whenever Sentinel deals damage, the cooldown of True Shot is reduced by 1 second up to 15 seconds. Or, for 8 seconds after activating True Shot, all abilities are guaranteed to apply Sentinel which is also a good thing. Then you have Lunar Storm, which every 15 seconds, your next rapid fire summons a Celestial Owl that conjures 10 yard radius Lunar Storm on the target. For eight seconds, a random enemy affected by Sentinel within your Lunar Storm gets struck for 86K arcane damage every 0.4 seconds. Any target struck by this effect takes 10% increased damage from you and your pet for eight seconds. So it is better than ranger that's for sure so let's do the rotation really quickly so we do have our central stacks here and you see it, it is applying very quickly now the thing is you're never going to have uh, a lot of stacks because it does implode so the, it depends on what you want you can have like a 10 stack a sentinel but for that, you need to play around your other hero talent. So you have choices. On this tree, you have choices, which is not a bad thing. But every time you're going to do a uh, rapid fire, kind of, you can do some big damage. So here, for example, I'm going to do a big uh, rapid fire. It does a lunar storm here, uh, which is good damage. It's not bad. It's way better than what we had with Dark Ranger, that's for sure. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, but is it going to be something you want out of a hero talent? It's difficult. It's difficult to know. Um, but overall, it's a bit clunky. I didn't do true shots, so I guess that's maybe why. So let's go back. Lunar Storm has been uh, a lot of damage. Uh, but I do feel like it hits also like AoE. I do feel. Uh, wait, I need to please come back. I need to come back with that and then we are going to talk about what I did only one minute so we have lunar storm doing some good damage and it's actually like noticeable damage and you see the difference between dark ranger and this one this one has more uh, percentile on uh, amount of damage you're going to do so I kind of like it you have sentinel also being a 10% uh, damage of your like whole details which is also a great thing again if you're taking a hero talent it is for it to be seen or noticeable and it is definitely noticeable you have arcane shot kill shot uh, doing some good damage we have waning arrow again uh, wind arrow things doing some okay passive damage but overall I understand that some people may not like uh, MM Hunter be based on those two hero talents. I do feel like Sentinel is way better, so if they don't change anything towards Dark Ranger, I think most MM Hunters are going to play Sentinel. Uh, for example here, let's talk about like the Sentinel with 10 stacks, because now I played with the Sentinel with only 3 stacks, because it then implodes. This one will only implode um, once uh, it has been um, higher. So it has a chance to implode instead of like imploding every single time it gets um, more than three stacks. Uh, because it's below 20% health, right? So once it gets below, it is going to implode. So this one is also going to do damage. I think I, I, I do mistake a few things here and there, but you see now it gets higher. So you do get a bit of benefits from that. And if I want to go do a go, I can basically uh, play around my true shot. You see? And it will do a lot more damage, obviously, because I'm doing true shot. But I do feel like it's a bit less... Um, 
predictable, like those explosions. I can't see because I don't have my add-on, that's unfortunate. But uh, every time I have my rapid fire up, it seems like it is up, but it is not. Uh, but overall, uh, I feel like Lunar Storm is quite cool though. But they need to stick on the target, so that's not going to happen in PvP, right? You're never going to have like a full value PvP uh, Lunar Storm, but this is a lot of damage. Rapid Fire is a lot of damage, and those two together is a lot of damage. Then you have Aim Shot doing also some obscene damage, Sentinel doing some obscene damage as well, Kill Shot as well. Uh, overall, I prefer this than Dark Ranger, so um, you tell me. I think the Lunar Storm is a bit gimmicky because they need to stick into the, the area, but you can stop it with Binding Shot, you can do with uh, intimidate, uh, Intimidation for example, you can have a Dart Trap underneath. Uh, so you can play around to make it more consistent, but obviously it is not going to be like as much damage in PvP scenarios. So. Um, yeah, you tell me. Uh, this has been the video for MM Hunters. Hopefully, we do get a rework uh, on the Hero Tones, but I think they are done with reworks. So I'm 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 a bit mad for Shamans, but we'll have to see if they are going to do that for Shamans or not. I do feel like Enhancement Shaman kind of needs a rework, but um, yeah, it's tough. So, anyways. Thank you for watching this video, really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And we will catch each other probably very soon in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.